Hi, everyone. I'm Brittany, and I am beyond excited to introduce you to Tasks, Evernote's newest feature. It's currently being rolled out for early access right now and will be available to everyone in the coming weeks. During early access, you'll get to use all aspects of Tasks, no matter what Evernote plan you're on. Now, I know many of you already use Evernote to manage your to-dos, but Tasks just takes it to a whole different level. I wanted to share some ideas on how you can incorporate tasks into your day to day. Tasks just makes it so much easier to stay on top of it all. So let's take a look. Tasks can live in any note, so they're contextual with relevant information. Whether it's a note from a recent meeting, project that you're working on, or even your weekly to do list. If you currently use checkboxes, checklists, or bullets for to-dos, they can easily be converted into tasks. Let's take this meeting note, for example. Just select the text you want to convert. Select tasks from the insert menu, and voila. Your list is now tasks. You can also use keyboard shortcuts. Command T for Mac and Alt T for Windows. You will know what has to get done each day and why, because you can set due dates, get reminders, notifications, which prevent tasks from getting lost in the daily shuffle. And you can even flag what's important so you can focus on what matters most. Setting a due date is as simple as selecting the task and choosing the day that you want a due date. You can even add a specific time to the due date. And just like that, due date is set. You can add a reminder to remind you to do this task here. Let's set it for one hour. And lastly, this is really important. I'm gonna flag this. And now you can see all of these items within the task view itself here in the sidebar. And you can see them by due date. And here's my flagged task. From your task view, you can access and sort by notes, due dates, and flagged. You can jump straight to a note by clicking on the note itself. Clicking into a task and hitting the return key automatically creates a new task to make it simple to add more to-dos to your task list. Now, if you have recurring tasks you do each week or month, there are a couple of options to use tasks easily. First, you can bulk reset completed tasks in a note from the overflow menu here in the task view. In my don't forget to do note, I've completed all five tasks, but I've got to do them all again. I can hover over this option for bulk actions and click reset completed. I'll get a pop-up that will make sure that I'm reminded that the due dates, reminders, and flags will be reset as well. When I hit reset, they are now reinstated and ready to go for another week. The second option is to reset the task due date each time you complete the task. So let's say I send invoices once a week. Instead of marking it complete now that I've done it, I can just readjust this due date to in a week. And from there, I can continue on with this sending invoices task every week instead of just marking it off. So this is tasks. I'm personally loving the feature as it's helping me stay on top of all of my to-dos. I hope this video gives you some ideas on how you can incorporate tasks into your workflows now. Now check out early access and give us your feedback. Thank you.